Hey guys, welcome back to some more Football Manager 2016 and episode 12 of the Everton Project. Today we have the final match in the Barclays Premier League uh, season against Swansea City. This is a decider to get into the top four. So, before we get into things, we're going to have a look over the last five or so matches since uh, the last episode, which was against Manchester United. That 1-0 defeat, which could prove crucial uh, by the end of today. We then went on to lose 5-0 in the second leg of the Europa League quarter-final against AC Milan. Luis Adriano and Bonaventura getting the goals there. We then won 1-0 against Tottenham in the league. A big, big victory. Uh, Jefferson Montero getting the goal there. We then drew 1-1 in the Merseyside derby against Liverpool. Sado Dumbia getting the goal there. We then won 1-0 against Southampton. Uh, Romelu Lukaku getting the goal there. We then won 4 1 against Leicester City in the most recent match with Romelu Lukaku, Seed Dumbia getting two, and Morgan Schneidlin also on the score sheet. So, what does that mean for the Premier League table? Well, we are in fifth place on 70 points from 37 matches. We are level on points with Arsenal, but uh, as you can see, there's a massive goal swing of 17 that we'll have to overcome today if we are to, to overtake them and the problem is the problem facing us today is that Arsenal are facing Sheffield Wednesday so that's not ideal but uh, yeah let's have a look at squad performances I don't think much has changed since the last episode but uh, we'll have a look top goal scorer is Romelu Lukaku with 32 goals and then Sado Dumbia with 14. Top assists is Gerard Delafeu with uh, 15 and uh, Lukaku with 14 there. Ben Alpha with 12. Last five games Luke Garbutt's actually been pretty good 7.42 but I think that counts as reserve games so uh, probably looking at Asamoah 7.34 so for today then we're not going to play um, him we're going to play him there on reflection and I don't really know what to play him as but yeah let's have a look so Washek Chesney will start in goal Seamus Coleman, John Stones, Brendan Galloway and Leighton Baines will start in defence Gundogan and Asamoah will start in midfield and Ben Arthur, Barkley and Montero will start behind Romelu Lukaku up front so I'm pretty nervous for today because this is a huge match for the series and uh yeah, sorry, just put my phone on charge there, but let's let's get into things. <coughs> because if we win today, we'll uh, we'll be into the, the the top four hopefully for next season, depending on the Arsenal result. But there's a lot of pressure on in this match. Oh, big game against Swansea. By the way, Southampton. I've had a tycoon take over them, so they're going to be a, a strong force in English football. So it's even more imperative that we, we qualify for the Champions League and get the, that extra money to invest in the team uh, for the, ne the, the, the coming seasons. This is a huge, huge match. And let's get started in 3, 2, 1... Come on, Evan. Come on. Now then, let's um, let's add the latest scores. Hold on. We'll pause it a second. We'll add the latest scores. Apologies, this is lagging a little bit. Oh, I don't know why that isn't. There we go. Latest scores. Um. And we're just going to have that over here. And bring that back down. And we'll see how Arsenal are doing. At the same time, he has uh, Gomez. But he has Sigurds and Gomez over the bar. So, Swansea off to a good start. Which isn't good. Uh, here we go with Dyer. And in the Gomez, Dyer. And here's Barkley and Coleman. Ben Arthur, who good to one. And here's Ben Arthur and Montero. Good save by Victor Valdez, I believe that is. I wonder if it's Nathan Dyer on the right, because obviously he moved from Swansea to Leicester in the summer. 
So yeah, it was in the summer. So you know, I'll be interesting to see. But uh, Johan Kabai, Kabai just wide there. Whoa! Look how much possession we've had. What's going on here? Whoa! 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 What happened there? Why did it just race to half time? Never mind. And Arsenal are 1 0 down at the minute, so uh, we're currently in the top four. He's Lukaku, Montero. And, uh, not quite. And Lukaku, and it's a foul by Lukaku. But uh, yeah, Arsenal 1 0 down at the moment. That's what we want to see. Now here's Montero into the box, but I can't really see in this bottom corner. Uh, and here's Asamoah, Steindlin, and it's away. Forward again. Here we go now. Asamoah, Schneidlin, Ben Arthur, Barkley, Montero, Barkley. Oh, Ben Arthur just wide. But this, this is pretty good so far. Now we're going to bring on, um, we're going to move Barkley back here and we're going to move Ben Arthur into the middle and bring on Delafeu onto the field. So here we go. I have to hold. Hold on, I, I have a better idea. When uh, we'll get rid of that for now, and then change the the center screen to later scores. Here's Ben Arthur, and Taylor, and Valdez, and Fernandez, and here's Gomez and Kazar, uh, Kazri, and Sigurdsson, and it's forward. Good header out A A U and Kazri, and a good block there. Here's Delafeu though, but no good. Well, I didn't get time to pause it. Here's Kazri and Sigurdsson. Good block, Kabai. Good block again. And AAU and Gomez over the bar. Right, we'll pause it here. And we shall move that to not match stats. We shall put that on later scores. Arsenal still 1-0 behind. But we, we really sh could do with winning this. Here's Delafeu, Ben Arfa, Coleman in at the box. And yes, Montero puts us 1-0 ahead. And we are now firmly in the driving seat for Champions League football. Come on. Jefferson Montero, signing of the season, I would say. Uh, uh, along with Sado Dumbia and Ben Arthur. Absolutely brilliant. He scores against his former club, who was stupid enough to put him up for loan in the first season. And there we go. Barkley knees it on. And a beautiful finish by Jefferson Montero. And we are 1-0 up. 25 minutes to go. And here's Sigurdsson, here's AU. And now forward, a good save. But it was offside anyway now. Oh dear. Here's Sigurdsson and Kabai and AU. Oh, it's 1-1. One, one. And now back to nervous time. Let's have a look at this. Kabai and then AU and he gets past. I think that's Leighton Baines. Good finish though by Andre AU. And uh, well, back to very, very nervous times. So it looks like the Champions League hold as Arsenal may not uh, get to finish the season in the top four. But we're going to bring on Sado Dumbia and see what that does. <sighs> but I don't know what happened in the first half. I think that was some sort of glitch. I think it has happened to me before, actually, that, uh, that glitch. And it's something to do with the beta. So don't worry about that too much. Now here's Schneidlin and Ben Arthur forward and Schneidlin Barkley and Ben Arthur Barkley again. Here's Yes! Montero makes it two! Come on! Oh, huge, huge goal that one. And Barkley again puts him through and then it's a, a bit of a comedy of errors there and uh, it seems to be floating off people's feet. But uh, there's Emmanuel Adebayo actually. Hopefully he won't put, cause any problems against us. His former club. Schneidlin away. And are you? It's 2-2. Two -two. It's 2-2. Two -two. Can you believe it? Look at this Schneidlin. I don't know what he was doing. But another great finish from Andre Ayu. And nervous times again at 2-2. Two -two. Barkley. Montero. Oh dear. 
Swansea on the... Oh, here we go. De Delafeu, Schneidlin, Ben Arthur. Ben Arthur. Yes! 3-2. Hat and Ben Arthur. This is a, a show of the, the key signings. This this is brilliant. Ben Arthur cuts inside and... Well, I don't know how he scored from that angle, but he did. 3-2. And Arsenal still 1-0 down. And... I think we're going to start going a little bit more defensive now because we're in a, a, a strong position. We're going to move him there. Going to move him there. Him there. Him there. Can Delafeu play there? What about Montero? No, none of them can play there, but it doesn't really matter. We're going to make Schneidlin a. Uh, Defensive midfielder with the defend duty. Uh, make him that. Make him that. And see what happens. Got to go defensive. Uh, dribble less. Be more disciplined. Uh, waste time. Drop deeper, play a ball to flanks, and see what happens. Whoops. And that was a foul by somebody. Federico Fernandez. And we're playing defensively now. He has Baines Dumbia into the box, but he has Kazri on the uh, counter attack. And again, he has Adebayo, good tackle. Kabai. And he has AAU for his hat trick, but Schneidlin gets it away, and that's that's what I'm talking about, just snuffing out the danger. I can't believe this. Arsenal's still losing, but here's Kabai and Coleman and Ben Arthur, Coleman, Chesney. It's away, but here's Sigurdsson, Kabai, and it's away again. But here yeah, we're going. Adebay, oh, gets a shot on target, but a good save, and he has Doombia now. So we're on the break, and it's full time. And I think we've done it. But did Arsenal score two in the last minute? That's what they needed to do in order to uh, overtake us. Let's have a look in three, two, one. We've done it. Yes. Fourth place in the league for season two. That is what I am talking about. Champions League football for season three. And we have outplaced... Arsenal in the first ever season without Arsene Wenger. Well, not first ever season, but 71% possession. Now, I think a lot, a lot of that was down to um, the, uh, the, the the bit of a glitch at, in the first half, but Arsenal losing 1-0 at Sheffield Wednesday, that is embarrassing. So, we'll have a mini-season review in this episode. I am pumped now to get into season four three and uh into the champions league that is going to really really help our cause and um well actually we need to check on the champions league and see because uh we could be displaced by an english winner but uh we're in control there we go uh man united do the double they won the league uh i'll have a look in a minute to see whether their victory against us was um was the key to that. Uh, Gundogan's out for five to eight days in, pr in what is probably his last match for us, actually. So that's a shame. Uh, bonus is paid out. Qualify for the Champions Cup with a top four finish. Uh, we we were expected to qualify, I don't think so. But uh, yeah, I'm really, really pleased about that. 26.2 million to spend, which is absolutely great. 1.9 million on the wage budget. We're going to have some fun with that, I tell you. Uh, Watford have sacked uh, Flores, which is unsurprising since it got relegated. Montero was man of the match by far. Curtin comes down. We're given thirty-one million for finishing in fourth in the Premier League. That's great, and there we are. So, uh, yeah. By the way, Asamoah he wanted to go to Southampton because they're the tycoons now. So, uh, at the moment. Uh, one bid has been made by Southampton for 35 million 
and I might be to accept that. So, yeah. Now then, let's have a look at the Premier League table. Oh dear, that's not what I wanted. That's what I wanted. There we go. So Man United, the champions of England. It was crucial that they beat us in that game many weeks ago. They won the title by one point over their rivals, Manchester City. Chelsea and us, Everton, finish in the top four. Arsenal and Liverpool qualify for the Europa League with Tottenham in seventh place. Um, relegated is Bournemouth, Sunderland and Watford. Middlesbrough surviving by the skin of the teeth. I think they must have went on quite a run in the second half of the season because they were rooted to the bottom. And, uh, well, as you can see, the start of the season was dreadful. And... Uh, well, they, they, they didn't have that great... Hold on, that's just gone to January. What's going on here? What's going on? There we go. You can see a run of four victories in a row. Really helped them survive this season. But, uh, yeah, who's going to come up then? Well, it's going to be uh, Blackburn or, or Burnley in the playoff final and Stoke and Huddersfield have uh, been promoted. Huddersfield on a very good run of form. Who's been relegated from the championship? Well, Barnsley, Burton, Albion and uh, Birmingham City have been relegated there. But uh, let's have a look at top goal scorers and things. Uh, team overview. Uh, top goal scorers at Chelsea. Uh, games without losing. We've gone five. Obviously, we had that unbeaten streak earlier in the season. Uh, what about player overview? Top goal scorer, uh, Memphis Depay, with 19 goals in 37 appearances. And none of our players up there. You know, not even Lukaku. Which, uh, but that, that's strange to me. I'll have to check that one out. Well, let, well actually, let's have a look. Uh, for goals, we want... There we are. There's goals. Uh Where's Ro there's Lukaku on 14 apparently, so he scored 18 goals in, uh, in by other means. So he scored 15 in Continental and three in the cup. So there we go. Play of the season probably Romelu Lukaku. So uh, we'll go with that. But um, yeah, let's go on the home page to finish off. I want to thank you guys for watching in Season 2. This has been a brilliant end of the season. Uh, obviously, we had the, a horrible start of the season, but went on that lovely unbeaten run. And we've managed to, to come into the top four, which is insane. So, um, I hope you've enjoyed Season 2. Please leave a like down below if you did. And if, you, if you're pumped for Season 3, leave a, leave a little comment down below. I always enjoy communicating with those of you who do comment. And... Uh, yeah, I'll be back for the first game of season four and uh, three, sorry, season three. And we're going to have some fun in the Champions League and hopefully we'll reach the group stages and, and try and get out of the group. But it's going to be very tough because um, Evan haven't been in the Champions League for many, many years now. And uh, I think the, the coefficients will be quite low, so we'll be seeded fourth, I imagine. But... Uh, yeah, leave a like down below if you've enjoyed. You don't have to, of course, but it'll mean a lot to me. And it will help the channel out a lot and uh, increase the audience, hopefully, so we can um, have more people to enjoy this save with. But, yeah, I hope you guys are having a great day, and I'll see you later.